there are really two main business models, one which is sell-through and that we use mainly for our SS7 platforms, and the other platforms are mostly sold in sell with or sell to mode, sell with equipment providers and sell to service providers. By combining typically a voice network with a data network, you uh, of course decrease your costs. You have less equipment, less uh, operators to manage the network. It's simpler to introduce uh, new services because the processes between the two networks are the same and so on. On the other hand, in order to go in that direction, you need to invest quite a lot in rolling your new network uh, infrastructure and um, so this uh, bulge in cost is uh, somewhat uh, an issue for service providers right now given the current economic uh, situation uh, for most of them. Um, on the other hand, because they are longing for new revenues, they are still interested in next generation telephony but not from a technology standpoint this time but really from a service standpoint. When you combine voice and data you can create services that are quite interesting and you actually need voice over IP as a, as a technology if you really want to push the advantages to the max. On the other hand you can actually deploy these next generation services without the f uh, full convergence of the two networks and that's really what is currently uh, in process uh, being deployed currently by service providers. I'm very optimistic. I think the main issue for us is going to be to manage growth. Um, so. What we have to do is put in place uh, the scalable processes that allow us to uh, sustain this growth. Um, the main enemy to us could be our inability to ex execute on the growth path. I don't think that the market will, uh, will be an issue for, uh, for us in the future and in the very near future.